Obama has spoken out for a need for health care reform, but his plans continue to generate Republican opposition. There are currently reform proposals in both the House and Senate. The bills vary in detail but would mandate health insurance among all Americans. Georgetown Health Policy Institute senior research associate Jenny Lipster says the current system can prevent young people from getting the coverage they need. While young adults tend to be healthier, uh, they do have some do have major health conditions which prevent them from buying coverage in this current market. Heritage Foundation health policy analyst Greg D'Angelo does not agree with the way the proposals in Congress would deal with the health care issue. They would change regulations such that they, uh, young and healthy individuals would have to pay more to cross-subsidize uh, older, um, sicker workers, uh, and in some ways it raises equity uh, questions. Many young Americans can no longer remain under their parents' plans or their university plan after graduating from college. They often rely on finding a job that provides them with benefits, but current economic restraints prevent some employers from offering benefits to their employees. Recent American University graduate Julie Watulowitz does not have health insurance, but she is hoping she will find a job that provides her with benefits. I do think health insurance is important. I've talked with my parents about it and they think I should get it too. It's just not really on my list of priorities right now. Tulowitz says that she needs motivation to start researching insurance plans. I don't think it's a great idea to force people whether they can afford it or not, but that's probably the push I need. Young people play a significant role in the health care debate, but the effect reform may have on them remains unseen. Matt Coling, District Wire News, Washington.